Zach is a 14-year-old tennis player at Oxford High School. He's ranked number one in the boys' 14-year-olds in the state of Mississippi. Zach Wilder, young young man, uh, ninth grader, has played number one for us since eighth grade, and probably still our number one singles player. Um, great guy to have on the team. Um, He's special in a lot of ways. He, 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 he works hard at his game. Uh, he's a good teammate. He'll play any position I ask him to. And on top of being an excellent tennis player. Debbie Swindle and Lewis Nash have been influential in the early development of Zach. I've known Zach Wilder since he was probably three or four years old. I knew him through his dad, who was an ex-college player like myself. Zach's been with my program since he was probably six or seven years old. I'm looking forward to Zach playing collegiately and helping bring Oxford High School a state championship this year. When I moved here and started coaching the team, she and I had already known each other. And, and I said, you, I'll take the job if you bring the players along. And she has, and now we got oh, we got 16 involved in a junior varsity and 16 with the varsity, and we're just keeping them moving. We got a lot of third, fourth, and fifth graders playing. And, you know, you get two or three players out of each group, and you're going to be good every year. But uh, unlike most schools, we got five or six better than average players instead of just one or two. He comes out here almost every day with his dad to hit. Um, you know, after school, after he finishes homework, and I see him out here a lot. Um, he does like volleys and serves and just practices with his dad. His dad coaches him. I've seen Zach play here and there with, um, with the group lessons and seen him hit with his dad some. And I remember when I first saw him hit, I, n I never, I hadn't met him yet. I just knew, well, I knew who he was just from watching him hit and watching the way he played, I just knew he was, he was good enough to be Zach Wilder. I have been working with my dad for about five years, and he has really improved my game and helped me get a lot better as a person. Zach's father played tennis at the University of Alabama, where he was all SEC, and then went on to play professional tennis after his college career. I think he's certainly capable of playing Division I college tennis, hopefully SEC tennis, and. Uh, pro probably the strength of his game is um, when he's on the court playing matches, he generally stays pretty cool and uh, doesn't get uh, upset and let that cost him matches. Um, he, uh, he's a consistent player, plays real steady, not, a, you know, real, not real flashy, but uh, just kind of a solid player. Zach has been working on his game with his father. His father has been a major influence in his tennis career as Zach continues to perform. He goes to lots of tournaments over the weekend. He has to you know, leave practice for, for um, lots of tournaments. He goes all over the state in Florida and Georgia and Alabama. He's got you know, lots of potential. He just needs to keep working on his game and hopefully he'll go to a college that uh, you know, will, will be good for his game and he can improve a lot there. Uh, hope, hope he'll have a good college coach that you know, will, uh, will basically t help take his game to the next level. Zach's so incredibly interested in tennis and uh, he has the support that he needs and um, again I think he will do extremely well as long as he has that drive. He certainly has the talent to, to have a career in tennis if that's what he chooses to do. Reporting for Overtime, I'm Jason Palermo.